By the way, they're both uh, going Terran for players. Because <laughs> <laughs> nothing else here lines up, Tasis. No, I was, no, for a second I thought the factory at the bottom was a uh, like a different looking command center <laughs> on the production side. I don't know what else to say for a second. Yeah, I, did, yeah. I was like, so I was like, so they're both hiding command centers in their main, but it's got the one looks center skin. different, man. If you'd imagine that if you had skins that made your buildings look completely like oh, different yeah. buildings. So the game's just unplayable. Imagine that. It's like you have a gateway skin that looks like a Stargate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Reaper sees it, they're like, okay, I'll make a turret, and then stalkers Your building come. basically becomes like one of those butterflies that like is, makes itself look like it's yeah, a poison yeah. uh, animal. Oh, my God. I love the idea. So... Um, you know, interestingly, uh, we have a Stargate that's wedged right huh. next to the main base of Morrow, which I assume this is for, um, well, it could be for Hellion Drop I, or, or Banshee, I guess. Yeah, it, it could. I think it's going to be a Liberator. Okay. Like, I guess this would be better if they, uh, you know. Uh, oh, no. Mar it is going to be Banshee. Okay, right. Banshee right away. Okay. But I think you know all, all three of the ideas. There's mm. play there, right? There's opportunities that get created there. And if it's Gumio, it could have been a battle cruiser. Uh, and this is you know not just Banshee by itself. This is Banshee with cloak. There is a Raven that's going to come out here, yeah. and he is continuing to try to push here. Uh, he's not doing as well with that. Throws on the grenade to try to retreat, waiting for another Banshee. Dude, double Banshee that's proxy. Crazy. This is pretty dirty. Yeah. By the way, at home he's making production. Kira is not even planning on expanding Tasteless. Oh yeah. This is just, there's a lot of craziness going on. Okay, the first one comes in, he can't hold it any longer. <laughs> Couldn't hold it anymore. He could in Tasteless, he just had to go. Uh, and the Banshee comes in like he does have Cloak ready. A Cyclone gets started, oh. but that is so slow, man. Counter push here, Siege Tank to meet that right in the middle of the map. Uh, I, I like what Maru's trying to do. He's trying to like basically rotate, you know, uh, repair onto whatever mm -hmm. a Marine, I'm uh, sorry, SCV is getting uh, healed up here. Yeah. Very tough stuff, losing a lot of workers so far, but he's still got more workers than Cure, who's still on one base. Okay, here comes in the auto turret. That could really, really be painful. Now, look at this. Comes right in with double Banshee. Oh, my God. He blows up the thing that hits air. Oh! Just oh. three Marines. He's got to get back. Oh, he takes it out. Oh, a little bit sloppy there from Cure, no yeah. doubt. Now, this is really bad because a lot of this is just hinged on the Banshee, actually. Yeah. He did not it. need to lose two Banshees. Like, I think theoretically he could have kept both, but like to lose the second one there to an auto turret, his attention was simply not in the was, right was location. Was he making a third? Okay, he was. Yeah. For a second in my mind, I'm like, well, that's it. You know, you're only allowed to make two Banshees <laughs> in this game. Um, so he's come back here. He's got Cloak on. Now, it was the auto turret that actually gunned it down, not the Marine, but a Cyclone's going to come out here, and that is a very solid answer uh, to one Cloak Banshee. Now, again, remember, Kira is not with the command center back uh, at home. But, dude, the push oh, coming forward here three now. Raven's tasteless. He might be able to auto turret down these. Like, oh, I, he actually was thinking oh, about he's supply it. Supply blocked. Oh, God, you're right. He certainly is. Okay, that was a great lock on right there. Almost kills it off. And look at that. The disabled keep his. Uh, Cyclone alive here. Okay, he targets down that one tank. Dude, the auto turret's just killing it for Maru right now. Yeah, he's not quite in there yet. He's shelling a production, so that means only one ring at a time without a uh, an add-on here. And in fact, that could be killed off as it comes out, which means what you see from Maru is what you're going to get. And he made the barracks now too close uh, in range of the tank. Kira's going to try to bleed oh up into the main. Oh, my God. There is about to be a Banshee coming out and only Marines for anti-air here on Kira's side. So he does get his own Banshee. Going to pull that back. He needs the Siege Tank really badly right okay, now. Okay, he takes that out. That's the last tank that's going to be made for some time now. Okay, he's going to throw an auto turret down to help out here a little and, bit. You know, he has to commit onto the auto turret, dude. I he think needs Mario's his own tank, man. It, but oh. if he can save the tank here, oh, if he the keeps that tank the alive. Oh, God, and so many SCVs repairing. Oh, man. He saves it. He saves it. And he has his Banshee still alive. I think Maru holds. Hold on, two more as tanks coming up. As crazy as this is. Oh, no. Oh, no. The tanks get up in position. He's going to lose his tank. I think that that is that's maybe what's going to break him right there is losing that siege tank, Tasteless. I think with the tank plus the Banshee, he had potential here. Doesn't feel like what it any a longer. Game, man. Great TBTs tonight. Um, oh, my the God. The SCVs are going to come forward here, but I mean, he'll hold this. Mm, actually, maybe even not. Because he's actually got the tanks. Now it's just Marines versus a very red Banshee. Oh my god, he got the Banshee back in time. This is the craziest thing ever. And keep in mind, worker count's even here. 
or almost even. Yeah, not and too now far it drops off. down here. 18 workers remaining right now. Now, hold on. I mean, Kira has done enough damage that even though he was held here, he's killed a lot of production. Can he pool his units for a moment and then come back? I think he can. Yeah, l l okay, let's let's go I big picture he here because, you know, uh, there was a lot of damage dealt there, but the worker count, it's not that far off anymore. 21 to yeah. 25. Um, he's beginning to rebuild. It, it does seem right now like Maru has the tools at his disposal to kind of last in this game. And what was like so close, it looked like just barely Kira was able to to knock him out. Maru has gotten back on his feet again. Wow. Wow. Okay, so Maru, he has landed his command center at that natural. He's going to have the double SCV production, which is huge. That's that's really what's putting a clock on Kira more than anything. Kira down to four mineral patches in his main base. Oof. Man. Everything getting repaired up here as well. He just lifts the command center because he knows all he has to do is hold. Yeah. Beautiful play from Maru. Yeah, Maru, I, definitely, he knows how to handle the, the very nuanced position he's in. Yeah. Now, again, a lot of uh, Ravens here means opportunities for auto turrets, but you have to make those moments work. If you don't, you've just lost anything that would, would have kept you in the game. I think the auto turrets are so gigantic here. Like, he's, he's going to have so many of them, Tasteless. Look at this. One Marine's trying to zone you. You kill it with the Banshee. Too many of them come up. You can use auto turrets if you need to. Yeah. Hold on. I like Maru's position here a lot better right now, Tasteless. But the fact that Kira is getting this expansion up. Well, hold on. He's uh, We see um, Maru looping around through yeah. the south. And he's yeah. going to kind of come over here. Now, keep in mind, with, with, with like four mineral patches, you're not really getting almost anything yeah. as far as income goes. So this is actually... This could be the Achilles heel right now here for Cure. Might be. I, I, I mean, I mean, what does Cure have to really kind of protect his own workers here? Yeah, not much. I'm, I'm sure he's still producing a little bit, but oh, oh god, my the auto god. turrets here, man. Oh my god, and this may force Cure to try to fight up the ramp. This has just caused he, caused the worker count to plummet. Is it too Raven? He can disable both the tanks and get into position. Oh, you might be the right. Ra his opponent's Ravens are way out of position right now. So this oh, is the moment. Oh, he needs to siege. He needs to back up. He needs to eat the disables and move. He did not do that in time. Oh, man. I have no idea who's going to take this. Well, he, he has to kill that tank on high ground. That is the number one thing right now. Oh, the tank is getting a lot of value, and the disables are going to run out. Maru's got it. Maru just won this game. Yeah. This is one of the hypest TVTs I've ever seen. Dude, this was a crazy this was insane, one. Dude. A crazy one. What an all-in. <laughs> what is this game? That's it. Yeah, Mara wins. GG. GG. Whoa! What a now, um, in this game, Mara, right now, is kind of taking the role of the one-baser here. It's going to be Cure that's trying to take an expansion here. So let's see what exactly... Uh, Mara wants to do it by the way. He might not do much of anything You can also open with this and then just take the command center a little bit later on and play kind of a normal game Oh, look at this Mara getting on top of everything that is oh my god that it tank. Wow, Oh my yeah. god, that's pretty huge. He wants to go for the kill All right, he think he's got to keep the Reapers away does target the SCV that gets too close third Reaper coming up Oh, man. Oh, and he could kill the uh, Marine as it comes out. He's trying to give uh, Kira a little taste of his own medicine here. Yeah, not sure he's going to get that bunker up, though. <laughs> a little bit optimistic on that one. But he will back up, and Kira will secure his natural. Uh, and it looks like Maro's going to try to come in once more. Ooh, he's going to pick off that uh, Hellion very, very quickly. Does lose his own, throws down some retreat grenades. Pretty even trade there. So far, I do like how Maru's kind of approaching this, keeping a lot of pressure on. Okay, he's gonna come in once more for a dive. Oh, Ooh. and he takes out that heli to the bottom. He yeah. actually dices this up very beautifully. Oh my god, a lot of damage starting to go out. Kills off an SCB there okay. as well. He's killed a lot of units here. He's hunting that heli. Can he do enough I don't actually know like how much damage a Reapers do and how many to a Hellion, how many SCVs you need to repair it. Oh, dude. I'm not sure exactly. He's got a pretty heavy uh, surround, but then he throw grenades down oh. and it really screws the map the up. The Hellion lives. Oh my, oh god. my god. He's bringing his own Hellion up now to put that extra damage on these clumped SCVs. The Hellion has one HP. He's going to try to come up here. He is 
going to get it. Oh my God, is this gonna be it? The quickest day of GSL ever, perhaps? It's looking like it. Dude, the damage is just snowballing right now. Maru showing him how it's done. GG, man.